Ceramic materials offer a variety of excellent properties for many applications. But maybe the most fascinating of all are the osteoconductivity and bioresorbability of calcium phosphates used in surgery. In this Lithos Explains episode, we will explain what exactly are the benefits of choosing bioceramics over metal implants and why the use of Lithos LCM 3D printing technology opens up a completely new dimension of implant geometries, treating critically sized bone defects with patient-specific implants at a precision that has never been possible before. Let me take you on this fascinating journey. Ceramic implants have a long and trusted history in medical applications. Bioceramic materials, such as tricalcium phosphate or hydroxyapatite, commonly known as TCP or HA, are osteoconductive and exhibit very similar characteristics to human bone. When the body can no longer heal itself alone, bioresorbable ceramic implants are an excellent alternative to using the patient's own bone as a graft. These bioceramic implants will be resorbed by the body and replaced by native bone tissue, meaning that painful additional surgeries for bone grafts or to remove the implant are no longer necessary. But just what are bioresorbable ceramics? And how are they being used in the medical world today? When looking at medical implants today, the most common material used is metal, specifically titanium. With over 50 years of use for such applications, metals of course have their advantages and suitable use in this field, and will continue to do so. However, metals do have some notable disadvantages, such as a very high thermal conductivity, Metallic implants conduct heat or cold to the tissue below and can lead to adverse effects such as pain during cold winters or even causing blisters from the sun. Furthermore, metal implants will not be resorbed or grow over time, meaning that children with metal implants have to endure multiple surgeries as they grow to have replacement implants. Such a process is extremely traumatic and stressful so, how do ceramic materials offer a solution to these problems? Certain ceramic materials, known as calcium phosphates, possess bioresorbable properties. The fascinating process of bioresorbability means that the body accepts the material as its own bone graft and starts to actually resorb the material. Natural bone then grows in its place over a period of time avoiding the need for traumatic second surgeries to remove or replace the implant. By combining this unique material property with LCM ceramic 3D printing technology, you can manufacture a powerful new generation of patient-specific implants with entirely variable and complex geometries. These implants, which mimic both the porosity and geometry of natural human bone, efficiently promote healing and regrowth. The design freedom offered by 3D printing also opens the door to an expanded range of applications for both patients and surgeons. 3D printed bioceramics can therefore support metals in medical applications, with the two materials working together to offer a smoother and quicker recovery for each patient. As we have seen, the bioresorbability and desirable material properties of ceramics make them a perfect solution for medical implants and applications. Using our lithobone materials, which have been specifically engineered for such applications, the medical industry has already taken huge steps forward in bioresorbable innovation. But where exactly are bioceramic parts being used in medical applications today? What do they look like? Let's find out. Bone atrophy, or missing bone volume in the jaw, can be a result of improper or deferred replacement of missing teeth. As it prevents treatment with dental implants, it is necessary to reconstitute the missing bone volume with suitable bone replacement materials. 
The best option is treatment with a 3D printed bioresorbable augmentation, such as this jawbone augmentation made from tricalcium phosphate. To take bone augmentation to the next level, Lithos, as part of the Ink Plant project, has been working to further develop this new treatment approach. By combining the best properties of two established augmentation materials, tricalcium phosphate and hydroxyapatite, with Lithos 3D printing technology, we now have this custom multi-material implant. Inside, tricalcium phosphate promotes the rapid ingrowth and generation of the jawbone due to its faster resorption time. The hydroxyapatite outer shell ensures the mechanical and volume stability of the implant during healing and replaces the membrane normally used as a barrier against premature ingrowth of soft tissue, which would otherwise prevent bone formation. This novel implant is designed to deliver predictable results and enable a quicker and even more precise surgical procedure with reduced pain and swelling, benefiting both the surgeon and the patient. After a traumatic accident, victims can be left with long bone injuries. Even small deviations in the length or angle during healing of such injuries can cause pain and severely restrict functionality, greatly impacting on the patient's quality of life. It is therefore vital to achieve absolute precision during the treatment of the defect. 3D printed ceramic bone replacements from hydroxyapatite, such as this ulnar wedge implant, offer patient-specific scaffolds, which are osteoconductive and thus help to bridge even critically sized defects. Due to their similarity to the mineral components of bone, lithobone products have optimum biocompatibility and do not exhibit any artifacts in medical imaging. Therefore, they are the ideal material for bone replacement. Ceramics are clearly making their mark as a critical innovation in medical applications. But who is driving this innovation? How will these materials be further improved? And what are the next steps? For a future forward perspective, we turn to HiMed a New York-based biomaterial powders and abrasives manufacturer that has spent over three decades researching how calcium phosphates can be engineered to support better patient outcomes from orthopedic and dental implants. So with implantable medical devices, the ideal implant is the one that the body accepts naturally without any adverse effects. That takes a profound level of biocompatibility from the implant materials and the method of manufacture of those materials. Between 3D printing, advanced digital imaging, new AI tools, and the ability to precisely customize bioceramic materials, we're closer than ever to a new generation of implantable devices that mimic the natural physiology so closely that the body accepts them as natural tissue. HiMed sees 3D printing as the key to unlocking substantial innovation in implant design, which is why the company entered a strategic partnership with Lithos in 2023. So in order to make a scaffold that's suitable for new bone growth, you need something with pores that are large enough that allow bone cells to grow inside. Um, the interconnect or the doorways between these pores also have to be large enough to allow cells to grow for blood vessels to develop, for waste products to pass away. Um, so it's the interconnected porosity that really allows bones to grow not only on the surface of the material, but all the way through the material. Yeah, I think 3D printing opens up a whole new world of geometries. Um, a lot of hydroxyapatite materials, they're powders. We can press them into disks or solid shapes that then can be machined into smaller parts. But here we can introduce porosity um, we can make really fine features, um, and we can mass produce them. For HiMed, a new series of 3D printable slurries that rely on calcium phosphate powders to customize everything from the resorption rate to drug delivery, promises an expansive new range of engineered material options for device manufacturers in the years ahead. Yeah, so this technology truly is revolutionary. If you think about being able to create rather unique forms that are controlled to the 
very small scale. Uh, we were talking before about the level of resolution that our 3D printing has the capability to. Um, and then combi combined with the fact that you can introduce different phases of calcium phosphate and perhaps with a multi-headed printer being able to print two different forms for two different applications but being able to control the level of TCP and hydroxyapatite allows for um, us to accomplish rather unique um, forms. The first step in developing such slurries has already taken place. In the spring of 2024, Heimat invested significantly in creating a dedicated research base for 3D printed bioceramics at their 25,000 square foot production and research facility in New York. This new bioceramic center of excellence enables Heimat to advance its research while also serving as a contract research lab for medical device designers seeking to conduct rapid R&D of calcium phosphate technologies. So I think the ability to characterize materials, manufacture those materials, use what we learn from our characterization to make improved materials, truly allows for us to say that we have a center of excellence here. And combined with our ability now to create these materials in rather unique forms through 3D printing, I think that truly is something that most organizations don't have. Bioresorbable ceramics are truly changing the game when it comes to patient-specific parts for the medical industry. If you have a medical application that you think could take advantage of our bioresorbable materials, then Lithos has the know-how and technology to turn your idea into a 3D printed reality. Get in contact today and let's manufacture the future together.